How's it going? So today's tutorial is on a much larger canvas than I normally show. This is a 16 by 20. I have to like move way back just to get it all in the shot here. <laughs> um, you could absolutely downscale this without a problem. Um, just use a few sizes smaller of each of the tools that I show throughout the tutorial and it should be uh, without a problem. Um, I want to give a big old shout out to Lily. This is Lily. Lily's mama is on my Facebook group and shared that picture with me and said that that morning Lily had been watching my tutorials and went to school and came home with her very own beautiful dot art. Lily, I think you did a fantastic job. I'm proud of you. Keep up the good work. You are a natural artist. And thank you so much for sharing that with me. I love it. Made my day. Guys, if you have any art you would like to share with me, um, I would encourage you to share it with me on my Facebook group or find me on Instagram. I love seeing what all you come up with. Um, I will put links to those um, websites in the video description below. Let's get started. All right, starting off, um, this is a 16 by 20 canvas. So I'm going to take two inches off of each end um, just to square it up. And that just helps um, to find your center and helps with the guidelines. Now, I do have a stencil. Um, I am selling these in my Etsy shop. If you are interested, I will put a link in the video description below. Um, that is a 16 slice stencil. I'm using my largest wooden dowel, which is about one inch in size, and that is for the center dot. And then I'm going to use my smallest wooden dowel, which is about a three and a half millimeter. And I'm just going to put a dot on each of the 16 spokes right around the center dot. And that is a 3.75 millimeter. I'm just going to put a dot right in between on the outside edge of each of those first row there. Moving on to a size 4 millimeter, and again just putting a dot right on the outer edge right in between each of the previous row of dots. Moving to a 6 millimeter for the next ring. And an 8 millimeter. Just kind of working our way up. And this is an 11 and a half millimeter crochet hook. And these are the crystallites crochet hooks from Susan Bates, I believe. And that is a primary blue. That's an Apple Barrel brand multi surface paint. This is uh, my largest nail stylus dotting tool, so it's a size 5. And I'm just going to walk the dots around each of those larger dots there in the last ring. You start with the very center outer edge and walk down one side, dip your tool, and then walk it down the other side. This is a four millimeter. And that's going to, just going to go right above the largest dot there. And a 9 millimeter in between. 
each of the little bridges there. And I'm going to use my size 5 nail stylus dotting tool and walk the dots right around each of those larger white dots there. Then I like to rotate the piece as I go, it just kind of helps keep them all in line. All right. This is a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. I'm just going to put a dot right on top of the largest of the walk dots from the previous row. And then going around it with um, to either side of that larger dot is going to be a 3.5 millimeter um, wooden towel. And then I just take my size 5 nail stylus which is my largest one, and walk a couple dots on down on each side. All right, this is um, a 12 millimeter wooden dowel, and I'm just going to put a dot on each of the spokes. So, all right out above the largest of the walked dots in the previous row there. Alright, so moving on, um, this is a 4mm crochet hook. And I just put um, one dot on the very center outer edge of each of the larger blue dots. And now I'm taking a 3.5mm wooden dowel and going to either side of that and then just going to walk down each side with a size 5 nail stylus dotting tool. So you just want the dots to descend in size all the way around. And now I'm going with a 5 millimeter crochet hook and this is in bold. And it's going to go right above the largest of the walked dots there, the last row. We're just going to walk the dots around again, forming a whole other layer. So I went to a 3.75 millimeter and then a 3.5 uh, wooden dowel here. And then I will get my size 5 nail stylus and walk them all the way down. Okay, next I'm going to grab the 11.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to go right, again, staying right on each of the spokes, right above the gold here. And then I'm going to take a size uh, 5 millimeter crochet hook, and I just dot all the way around each of those last dots there. So it's not descending in size, it's just staying the same all the way around. And here I just wanted to show you, um, I added um, some petals and I just drew some guidelines on um, with some cardboard that I had and I kind of didn't know where I was going to go with this one. So I decided it needed petals. So I get, went on and um, gave it some petals. All right, here we're just um, descending in size again, starting with the largest and then walking down 
the edge of the petals um, getting smaller and smaller. So I started with um, a six millimeter and then I went down to a five and a half and then I made a dot with five and then I made a few dots with four and a half and then a three and a half and then I go ahead and take my size five nail stylus and finish it all the way down. And then I just kind of do the same thing. You know, I'm gradually darkening the color as I go. So the lightest color is on the very tip and it will just get darker towards the center. And I found by um, darkening the color, um, it just really gave it a really good depth to where a natural petal would fall and be darker on the inside. And I thought it turned out pretty nice um, doing it that way. All right, this is an eight millimeter crochet hook. And this is um, the 12 millimeter wooden dowel that I have. And I'm just gonna put a dot right in between these larger um, outer petals here. Okay, grabbing my five millimeter crochet hook, I'm going to put a dot um, right on the center outer edge and then a dot to either side with a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Next to that will be a three and a half millimeter um, wooden dowel and then my size 5 nail stylus again walking the dots down and around okay this is a um, starting out with a 6 millimeter then I will go with a 5 to either side of those and then a 3.75 to either side of those And then, of course, my size 5 nail stylus to bring it all together there. And then I decided that it needed um, some pineapples. <laughs> so I went ahead and um, put a size 3.75 millimeter dot right on either side of the large largest dot there and then one on the very tip and then I just walk out with size 5 nail stylus um, and just kinda give it some like just some flair and then I take my size 2 um, round paintbrush and I just swipe it out right in between each of the little um, dotted um, how do we call these mm, hairs or hmm, I don't know why don't you leave me a comment and let me know what we should call these <laughs> can you help me come up with a name I don't know wispies I'm not sure uh, help me figure that out if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you like this tutorial. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time.